Hello and welcome back. It's been a while, but we're playing Fischl Brand again, and it feels good to do it. So we're going to jump right into a league, but just going to go through the deck very quickly for those who don't know. Actually, I'll go through the changes first. So this version of Fischl Brand is very similar to the one I've been running before, but we have the alternate sideboard win con of Fist of Flame plus Black Cleave Goblin. Uh, Exile, I don't know the numbers, but Exile in my Discord came up with this. It's a pretty sweet way to win the game, um, and this is basically to beat Weather the Storm. So you play a goblin, it's a haste infect, then you give it trample in like plus 30. Uh, they're probably not going to have 30 defensive creatures, so you just kill them. First strike is an issue, and against like elves, um, it's possible they have enough power to block. So we do have one Apostle's Blessing just in case we want to get through her damage, like pro green. And Apostle's Blessing is actually kind of nice against like uh, green decks or decks that try and kill our creature. So I'm trying it out. So right now, most of the time we side in this, but maybe against like Boggles, because they have a lot of ways to give first strike, uh, we could put in Apostle's Blessing as well. One Flaring Pain to beat Prismatic Strands. And then the rest is the same as it used to be. Uh, two Islands plus a bunch of Giga Drows against Tron. Blue Elemental Blast against Affinity. And then uh, Dispels. Uh, to bring in, usually I bring in like one or two against Affinity and other decks, just to like have some a bit, bit of insurance. So that's the sideboard. The main deck is the same as the Official Brand tutorial video. If you haven't seen the Official Brand tutorial, I'll link it in the description to explain more of how to play. Um, but this is the deck. You've seen it. See you guys in the rounds. All right, we're playing against Backdoor Brag. We're gonna go first. Winning the die rolls, not winning the good hands. Uh, I mean, this has a ton of mana, but we're missing like three combo pieces, but we do have double- You know what? I'm going to try this. I've never tried this much mana before. It's a lot. <laughs> but like a cantrip is good, careful study is good because we have like things to discard, and they mulligan, which I like. All right, let's see what you got. Okay, they're playing blue. If this is Delver, I'm going to be a little sad. Okay, uh, I'm okay running this into a four spike. Spell Pierce? Who plays Spell Pierce? I like it, but who plays Spell Pierce? <laughs> Seth isn't scary to go. Really interesting they went with Spell, like, countering my careful study. This has got to be some, like, blue lockout deck, right? Shambling Attendance. Uh, I can, like, play those this turn, but I don't really need to. Actually, I, let's see. I can sacrifice this, tap this. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. I can play Shambling Attendance. I don't hate that, but I also don't hate just like waiting. Because this 3 5 body is not going to matter too much, and that gives my opponents outs to like just bounce it with snap or vapor snag or something. This way they have to hold up mana like the whole game instead of, you know, just bouncing this at their earliest convenience. And I'm not going to beat them down over like seven turns. So I'm assuming they have counterspell or spell stutter sprite up, depending on what deck. They're running. Okay, so this has got to be like blue black delver. Yeah. Okay, they don't have as many counter spells with this deck. That's good. And it feels like this is the turn for me to try and go off. They only have a single blue up, so like, I don't think their deck plays vapor snag. I'm gonna tap this for just to get mana or make it go to my graveyard. There's a Gurmag. I don't think I can go for it, but I think I can cast a Gurmag angler here. If I go dark ritual, that gets me one, two, three. Four mana, two cards in my graveyard is six, so that's not enough. Looks like we're waiting, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. It would have been really nice to be able to go off there, but we kept a really bad hand. <laughs> we have a lot of mana though, like all this is good. And they're giving us time, which I don't dislike. Brain spoil. Oh, uh, okay, let's cast a dark ritual. See if they counter that. Because they can't counter the transmute on brain spoil. Um, can I just cast a Gurmag Angler here as well? I'm gonna tap this for mana. Let's transmute Brain Spoil, holding up a red or a black. Grab a rush. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm like one mana short every time. <laughs> um, next turn they could have a double counter spell. We'll wait. They're not making land drops. That's okay, too. Like, they have to put something in play to pressure us. Otherwise, it doesn't matter. We can just wait, build up a good hand, and then go off. The problem is the things they can put in play only cost one mana. But if they're missing land drops, they have to do something here. 
Echoing decay. That doesn't do anything. Careful study. I kind of like that. I'll cast a careful study. Well, that was pretty rough. Um, I need to keep rolling thunder. I can discard one Manamorphose, and I guess just a Gurmag Angler. And then pass turn. Because they're still missing land drops. I've wanted to hit a land drop there, but maybe I should have waited to careful study. Because losing Manamorphose is a pretty big cost. Mm -hmm. More augers. Okay, so they have one counter spell. So if they counter the wrong thing, then we're in business. I really want to hit energy tap next turn because I can probably just go for it if I draw energy tap. Because then what do they counter? Yeah, I think next turn we're going for it. How did they scry? One bottom, one top. Yeah, if they put a card on top, it's got to be a counter spell. I cannot like never beat more than one. Kraden was also a good start. So... I think I'm just going to give them the least information possible and we're just going to start out by casting Shambling Attendance. That seems okay to me. Because if they counter this, we should be able to still go off here. Okay, they counter that. Sure. That goes in our graveyard. Now we go for it. So we're going to start with a Preordain. Try and find an Energy Tap. I actually don't want either of those. Oh, actually, Metamorphose is nice. Because it fills our graveyard, but it like we're gonna have to burn through all of our mana morphos right now, and that's kind of rough. But it does fill our graveyard. So red white is going to go red black. Serum Visions was good. Energy tap, rush of knowledge, chromatic star, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so we put all these on top. Um there's seven cards in graveyard, so I just go shambling attendance. Yeah, I still have red mana. Okay, we're good. Energy tap, rush, and I can actually burnt offering this guy, but I need black mana, so I can chromatic star for black. I think I might actually just be able to kill them right now. We'll see. Burnt offering this, or go up to like five, add a bunch of black. Let's play island. So we're gonna metamorphose for some blue. Uh, we need a metamorphose again, sure. Play the attendance. Uh, so I have five, eight. I don't have enough to kill them yet. So we're going to tap and then rush. Dark ritual. Uh, okay, so I have how much mana do I have? One, two, three, eight, 11, 15, 16. So I still don't have enough, but we have a lot of dig to get there. Burnt offering, is that enough now? Uh, seven plus five is 12, 13, 14, 15. Burnt Offering puts us up to 22. I believe that is exactly lethal. And Daze is not legal. Let's do the math again. Uh, 7 plus 5 is 12. 13, 14, 15. This is plus 7. Yeah, that's lethal. And they're tapped out. Beautiful. X equals 20. Okay, game 2 gets, I think, a lot better for us because we get Giga Draws. Uh, bring in some islands. We can cut careful studies. I almost want to cut all of them, but I also still want to be kind of fast. Let's just cut a good amount of careful studies. Um, since we're going slow, brain spoil gets a lot worse. And I kind of want to also have the game plan of like, I don't know, go deep and hmm. What else do I cut? Maybe another careful study. Just play like a bunch of islands. I almost want to bring in dispel as well. Like one dispel along with all the giga draws. Maybe we just cut all the brain spoil because our deck's like pretty slow and they're not going to pressure us very quickly in this game, which I like. I don't hate that. And then we need to cut one more card. Probably Dark Ritual is not at its best here. In fact, I, I could cut another Dark Ritual for another Dispel, but Giga Draw seems like kind of all we need anyway, so we're just going to run it like this. All right, uh, on the draw, this hand's pretty bad. We got a Mulligan. This hand's better. It's got Giga Draws, it's got Scary. I like this. I'm gonna get rid of, hmm, what do I wanna get rid of? All these help me go off. Maybe I just get rid of one chromatic star because I like, I like all of this. Sure. And uh, we got a lot of blue. We gotta save the sappers and scary for Giga Drows though. That's kind of the key here. Okay, double Giga Drows. <laughs> That's as many Giga Drows as we would like to draw. Uh, okay, them drawing hasty dovers is a little bit scary. Chromatic star. But it, it's going to take a while for them to kill us with it, actually. So we get, we get quite a few turns. 
And very hard for their deck to play around Giga Drows. Thought Scout, for sure. Sanctuary, okay. Rush of Knowledge, that's a good draw. Play Chromatic Sphere. <laughs> so if we just draw a Delve creature, we could potentially get there. But I don't think there's any rush, especially if they don't play a Gurmag Angler this turn. If they do, oh, they didn't even hit a land drop? Yeah, we're fine. We drew Metamorphose. Okay. Uh, I might just go for it next turn. We'll see what they do, but if we just Giga Draws their lands, leaving them with just a basic Swamp. Augur of Bolas. Okay, so I'm at 11. So we gotta figure out how we're gonna do this, because they're gonna keep getting more lands. I think going for it right now gives me the best shot at winning because I can just draw energy tap delve creature. I have four draw steps to do that. So we're actually going to Giga Drows before they can Augur. Duplicate twice. This way they can't, I don't know, draw some crazy sideboard card. So should we just do two targeting that so they're tapped out now? Alright, well now's our shot. We're, we're taking it right now. They're tapped out. We got some good draw steps. I think this is better than waiting and letting them like recover from the stumble that they just had. Plus Delver's gonna kill us relatively quickly. Um, they didn't have black to like duress us or anything. I, I like this better. Gurmag Angler. Okay. So we sacrifice you. We Dark Ritual. We need to get a little bit more mana production here. So we're going to Chromatic Star. This one's going to add uh blue energy tap preordain okay let's i mean we want to cast preordain anyway so let's do that now energy tap and preordain i don't think i want this other preordain but i do like energy tap so put you on the bottom put you on top we draw that crack the scary now we can just cast gurmag angler we can even save the chromatic sphere Energy tap. Rush. We're drawing one less card with this versus Shambling Attendant, but I don't mind. That was more or less a whiff, but we do have a lot of cards in hand now. And we can keep going, right? We can crack Chromatic Sphere to add probably red at this point. No, we can add blue. Preordain. So we start with Preordain, I think. Shambling Attendance, Sappers, and Scary. I don't want that. Do I want the Attendance? I think I actually do because we probably have to Burnt Offering here. Uh, I could just bottom though. No, I'm putting that on top. Because we're, we're almost certainly going to have to Burnt Offering. And I'm going to do that right now. So we want like a decent amount of red and quite a bit of black. So now I just need to find like one uh, Rush of Knowledge and we should be able to just go off. We have quite a few draw steps to get there. We have a lot of blue mana, Serum Visions. I feel pretty secure. I mean, it's possible we whiff. But it's unlikely. Chromatic Sphere using Colorless. We're going to add blue. Dispel. Right. Yeah, all these Giga Draws would have been careful studies, which, be, which would be super helpful. Um, okay, I mean, we crack, cast Chromatic Star. This is kind of the last shot, huh? Let's add some blue. Another Attendance. Yeah, that's rough. And I killed the Gurmag Angler, which is the better one, too. That hurts. I don't know how we didn't find another rush, but our hand is still full. And I think that was worth going for there. Um, I'll hold up Dispel. Yeah, too many Giga Drows. I mean, we needed Giga Drows to like win, but I think that Dispel over Careful Study is kind of what hurt us. So I can Dispel that one. I can Dispel Pierce me, sure. So I lose a creature. Okay, there's still a chance. Um, Chromatic Star. So I have two turns, I think. And hmm, what do I do here? I think I play Soul Prevent this turn. I get hit down to uh, five. Then I untap with Soul Prevent. I get, yeah, I, I get another turn this way. Um, not attacking with Shambling Attendance. Hmm, they can flip that Delver now. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. Well, I guess we pass turn, see if Delver flips. They're probably going to brainstorm end of turn to do it. I get three blue mana off Giga Drows. Please don't brainstorm. Okay, so if it doesn't flip, then we don't have to do anything. 
Uh, I'm going to put stops in both their upkeep and draw. Okay, so that didn't flip. So we don't have to tap anything down. If they have Diabolic Edict, I don't think we can win anyway. So we just let that happen. We take three here. They're not going to play any spells, obviously. Oh, maybe they do. Okay. <laughs> sure, go ahead. <laughs> Counterspell revealed. I don't care about that. We still have a shot, surprisingly. Um, let's go to end step here. Add black, crack this for blue, and then we could just giga draws their lands. Goat boss is talking to me. Giga draws. Duplicate twice. So basically they can use a counterspell for every mana they want to keep up. It's not guaranteed that we win, but we still have a decent shot. So this one's going to target that one. This one's going to target that one. So basically each one targets one. All right, deck, give us, we need a lot. There's rush. So I have to find an energy tap, I think. Yeah, we got to find a lot, but they're tapped out again. So we got a good shot at it. There's energy tap. Okay. Um, we got to draw a chromatic star. How many have we used? Ooh. One, two, three, four, five. There's only one chromatic star left in the whole deck. Uh... <laughs> Being short on black mana really hurts here. Maybe I should have not cracked chromatic star because if I had that black mana, I think I can't lose. Um, what happens if I tap sulfur vent for black? No, then I can't in a rush of knowledge. All right. Oh, going for the one out. Oh, we have metamorphos too. Okay, that's not as bad. Okay, uh, that's probably it, right? There's also that blue. So we have Rolling Thunder. So we Metamorphose here. This is gonna add black, blue. Yeah, because we can get red off Burnt Offering. We Dark Ritual to make sure we have enough black. Um, okay, so right now I have six, seven, eight mana. I can go up to 15. I can go up to 21 mana right now with my current situation, so. I mean, I think I'm still going to Burnt Offering and then Rush. Three, add a bunch of black. Let's do the math again here. Um, that's six plus seven is 13, 14, 15. This will put me down to 14, 21. So I can't actually kill them yet. But I can Rush here. And that should do it now. So I can Blue, Energy Tap. Uh, and that's eight plus three is 11, right? Eight plus three is 11 plus five is 16. Burnt Offering, I think is just straight up lethal. I gotta do this, you, you gotta be very careful here. 11 plus five is 16, plus seven is 23. They're tapped out. All right, good games. Do it for 20. Well, we beat Delver, which is pretty sweet. It's a good start. All right, see you guys next round. Well done. <laughs> oh man. All right, no lands again. These opening hands have been real bad. Uh, this hand is also pretty bad. Um, I don't think I can really go to five. Like this hand has most everything we need. Rolling Thunder will be on the bottom of our deck, so we just have to keep that in mind. But it protects us from discard. Opponent's playing green. I was gonna say they're probably playing green given that their name is Azusa the Lost. But like, like it, there we go. Energy tap is a great draw. We're like one away from... Okay, we're two away. We have to draw a Rush of Knowledge and uh, creature, but that's not impossible. Gotta, gotta remove this step from our opponent's draw step. They're probably like, why does he have a stop there? Given that land, they specifically chose that land. I'm curious what's going on. Like walls combo or something? We're gonna play two stars here. And play another scary. I don't, double forest go is weird to me. Cause Stompy would have plays, elves would have plays. I don't know. Uh, we're gonna go Island Sphere. I don't really feel the need to do anything yet because they haven't made any plays and if they don't make more plays next turn they discard a hand size. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know what's going on but we don't know what's going on over there so that's something to... I think I'm gonna switch my win con. They're playing green so they're probably playing Weather the Storm. So we're just gonna do that. I don't know what else is in their deck whatsoever, so I think I'm just going to keep everything the same besides a deck playing green is probably going to try and bring in weather. So we'll do that and then see what happens. They chose to be on the draw. What is going on over there? 
I'll keep this hand. It's kind of bad, but we have energy tap, creature, mana, and rush of knowledge eventually, so it's slow, but they chose to be on the draw. What is going on? Like, I'm okay with it, but what on earth? So I think Dark Ritual would be one of our best draws. Or like, uh, I guess like Preordain into Dark Ritual. Evolving Wilds, what is happening? What are they playing? <laughs> I have no idea. Why do you want to be on the draw? Against like a, a combo deck whose main benefit is that it's fast. This is really weird. Oh man. Okay, this is actually kind of good. Um, I'm, I don't know what's going on. I'm assuming my opponent's like, New or playing some weird rogue brew that who knows? So I'm not that worried about what's going on over there. Oh, they do have blue. Okay. But I can transmute this for rush of knowledge and I can like go off next turn or two turns from now. Yeah, like I can just keep making land drops. Next turn I just tap transmute. If they don't pressure me, sure. They might be playing turbo fog, in which case they can never hope of winning. This might be turbo fog. And I brought in oh no. I might have just sided in a damage combat combat damage based win condition against Turbo Fog. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's actually kind of funny. We'll see. I'm going to transmute this this turn. I really actually <laughs> I don't know what's going on over there, but I'm scared. Okay, so next turn I can have one, two, three, four, five cards in my graveyard. But if I sacrifice like that, I think I'm going to play scary instead. The blue man is probably going to be relevant. I'm not really that, like, pressured here. Really don't know what they're... I think it's Turbo Fog, but I'm not sure. They targeted me. Whoa, that's getting aggro. Drawing energy tap would have been sweet. Wait, yeah, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Targeting me with Thought Scour? Things are going on that I don't understand what they are. They're discarding the hand size. Okay, so they're playing Fog. That's... <laughs> I may have just given them a win. We'll see, we'll see. Um, at this point, I'd probably go for it because if they counter... Can I play two Shambling Attendants in the same turn? That's a real question. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can just cast Shambling Attendants. And then if they counter that... I don't really want to let them do anything, though. What if we just wait? Like, we have more mana. They're probably not playing counter spells, though. All right, fine. We're just going to cast the Shambling Attendants. I just got to see what's going on. I don't know if they play counter spells. I don't know what's going on. This is a weird brew that looks like Turbo Fog. Okay. Pretty happy to get a counter spell out of their hands. I can't believe I sided in a win condition that loses to Fog. How was I supposed to know? Preordain is good. So let's Preordain. Chromatic Start. I don't want you, but I do want you. Cast you. Next turn they get to think twice. I want like two energy taps or something before I try and go off. They only have access to one counter spell at the moment and we can beat that. Very strange that they cast the think twice from hand. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Another brainstorm locked. I don't know what's going on over there, but this is, this is fun. I've never played the Turbo Fog versus Ger uh, official brand matchup before. They fetch. This is probably the turn to go for it. They only have one counter spell up. Um, can I actually... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards in Graveyard? Yeah, I actually can go for it, I think. So we're gonna start by doing this. Cracking Chromatic Star for blue. Oh, Dark Ritual is great there. Let's cast Dark Ritual. Like, they can't counter Dark Ritual here. That seems ridiculous. Okay. Sacrifice Ancient Spring. And I think I'm going to cast Gurmag Angler. So they counter it, and now we just go for it. They just have a single green up. Let's cast Serum Visions, because it's basically free with Shambling Attendance. Don't want you... Uh, actually, Careful Study... Hmm. It's like a Dark Ritual. But I want every single card in my hand. So I'm actually going to bottom that. Because now I can metamorphose these into blue. Just like a ton of blue mana. Oh, yeah, that's... We, we lose out on one mana. Not so bad. Um, I guess I don't need this red because I have Burnt Offering. Famous last words. 
There's no way they have vines in the vast wood, right? That would be... <laughs> that would be something else. Alright, rush. I swear, though, they're gonna hit me with fog. Because I don't have the torch in play. So, like... I, I could still just lose because of the way I sideboarded. But they, they probably don't have just regular fog in their deck. Let's cast another rush. Alright, I feel pretty secure in what's going on right now. So let's burnt offering you. But yeah, this sideboarding really, really hurts here. Let's go Metamorphose for more blue. Okay, I can um, Preordain, I guess. Grimmag Angler, I like both. Let's go Shambling Attendance. I'm trying not to draw too many cards here. Because um, they're playing Turbo Fog, so like they could just mill me out. Energy tap you. But I think I do have to cast at least one more rush. Alright, there's the Goblin. <laughs> oh, I feel so dumb. I feel so dumb. Let's... I mean, let's just do it, right? Blackleaf Goblin. Fist of Flame. Okay, and okay, okay, they didn't have fog. <laughs> Alright, we beat the weirdest deck. I don't know, see you guys next round. Ooh, now this is a hand. Finally, a good opening hand. We're gonna keep this. We get turn one preordain. We got Gurmag Angler, Dark Ritual, Manamorphos. We got everything we need. Well, missing a couple pieces, but we'll get there. Uh oh. This is affinity, so we just have to race. As quickly as possible, we can do that. That might actually mean casting Careful Study instead of Chromatic Star. Because Affinity can kill pretty quickly if they have a turn 2 Atog. But that doesn't appear to be the case. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. Let's set up our next couple draws with Preordain. Seer Vision's Dark Ritual. I don't think I need Dark Ritual, but Seer Visions does help us out. Put you on top. Play the scary, pass turn. Yeah, them missing that land right there probably means we can win this one. Because now either they miss a land drop again, and then they have to crack Chromatic Star, but then they don't have enough like permanence to cast like Frogmite and stuff. This is a decent position for us. Yeah, I like it. If they miss again, like, what do they even do? I'm okay with this. Sometimes this is how you gotta win. Your opponent... This has one land in play. <laughs> Ancient Spring. Okay. Um, so let's start with Serum Visions. Uh, Metamorphose, Serum Visions. So we can draw both of those off Careful Study. Okay. So now I can go Careful Study. Discarding... I don't think I want this Basic Island. Although it will be like a Lotus Puddle. Discarding Basic Island and Ancient Spring, I think. Then we cast Serum Visions. Uh, no Soul Vent, but I'll keep Energy Tap. Play that. And next turn, we can probably just go for it. Um, we're one rush away from getting there. Oh, blue, white. Interesting. There's Energy Tap. I guess there's like... They're not doing anything. Chromatic Star, Chromatic Sphere. Next turn, probably I go for it. But like, they have to tap out for a spell somewhere. Double Galvanic Blast doesn't work. I have to look up Metalcraft, hang on. No, it does work. If you control three or more artifacts, you can kill a thing. So if I go for it and they have exactly two Galvanic Blasts, then we're in trouble? Hmm. Alright, well, we're going to sacrifice this, cast Dark Ritual. Cast Gurmag Angler. Um, I guess we might as well just find out right now, so I can crack a star for blue. And go for energy tap. If they kill it, then sure. If they don't kill it, then we win. And I want to cast another Gurmag Angler before we rush, if possible. Okay. They did actually have double Galvanic Blast. Pretty good for them. Pretty bad for me. <laughs> um, I think at that point we probably just cast Gurmag Angler then. I want to transmute Brain Spoil, but that seems pretty bad. Oh, what do I do now? Double Galvanic Blast. I mean, that was their one shot. I can still draw, like, quite a few cards, but I don't want to go too far down on, like, lands. So my options are Cast Gurmag Angler. I think I'm going to just 
go for it. Because I still end up with Gurmag Angler in my in play. So let's sacrifice Sulfur Vent. Metamorphose. Or uh, Black Blue. Ancient Spring. So I can cast Gurmag Angler now. I'm going to be doing that regardless. I kind of think I like just cracking this for Black. So I can transmute Brain Spoil. Hit Rush. Play an Ancient Spring past turn. That did set me behind quite a bit. I might actually lose to an opponent who discarded a hand size one time. Alright, let's attack for five. Very curious what's in their hand. Go. Okay, let's attack for five. No point in casting anything here. Uh, I could rush because that's going to draw me a land. If they had a kill spell, they would have done it. Okay, we'll, we'll draw some cards. Play land, discard a couple cards to hand size. Uh, what do I want to discard? Brain Spoil, Chromatic Sphere. They're just dead. The old rush for value. <laughs> okay. There's their Seed of the Synod. They're playing now. What kind of hand did they keep? Reinforcer. Okay, they have a 4-4. Four, four. I think we can just hit them with lethal here. Right, we just go... Actually, do I even have to? Yeah, it's better. Severs and scary. Energy tap you. Rush. Uh, sack this for black. Dark ritual. Dark ritual. Um, I need red, so we can burnt offering this guy, or I could just sack this. Metamorphose for some blue. Okay, now I think I uh, serum visions first. Okay, we win. Put on top, um, Burnt Offering, cast Shambling, I guess we Metamorphose here, sure. Add some blue. Uh, Rolling Thunder should just be lethal, but we'll make sure of it. Hit you for 10, hit this for 4, sure. 14, yeah. Got him. Okay. On to sideboarding. So we're definitely bringing in blue elemental blasts. Um, cutting brain spoil. And what else do I want to do here? It's pretty much just a race. Opponent's going to have red blasts. I kind of want to bring in like a single dispel. Careful study just seems pretty mediocre. So I have two blue blasts and a single dispel. That's probably all I need. Dispel counters fling. It counters... Team or Battle Rage. I have big creatures. Yeah, I don't hate this matchup. Alright, so we're on the draw. This hand seems okay. I'm imagining opponent's hand will be much better <laughs> this game. Yeah, that's... Springleaf Drum, like, in Artifact Land is like the best possible start they could have. So that's a little sketchy, but we don't need that much. I say that like every time, but we actually kind of need a decent amount. We need a Delve Creature, Energy Tap, Giga Drow, or Dispel. Carapus Forager. Yeah, it's a 4 4. He's got the booty. Seer Visions. Don't want Ancient Spring. I don't really want Manamorphose either. Like, it's okay, but it kind of clogs up our hand. We would rather know what we're drawing. That being said, if we're just trying to go off like very quickly, maybe having one is okay. And we're gonna play. I don't think I'm dead next turn, so I'm going to play. Hmm, this is hard. Drawing Manamorphose. My plan next turn is to go Serum Visions. I think I'm going to play this scary, actually, because I want to go Serum Visions, Chromatic Star, Chromatic Star, play Sulfur Vent, and then go off turn four. That's kind of my game plan. And just hope they don't play Atog here. Okay, it's not Atog, so I'm not dying next turn. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, it's, maybe it's possible that they kill me with Atog next turn, but it's going to be very challenging. So I think I'm going to just play as if I get two more untaps. So like the turn after this turn is the turn I go off. Let's go Serum Visions. Burnt Offering. I don't want this. I don't want this. Go Star. Star. And hope to not die this turn. It's unlikely. Sulfur Vent. Go. We got to find a Delve Creature because we actually have enough mana now to just go. There's Atog. I don't think they have enough, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Actually, they do. If they have Fling, I die. That's crazy. Okay. 
They don't have fling. They're shambling attendants. So we need to draw a dispel or something like that. All right, let's see what we got. Let's play island. We're dead next turn almost no matter what. So we're just going to go for it. Do that. No, I got to crack uh, sulfur vent. Actually, I'll crack both. Yeah, because I need to use the white here. Metamorphose. We're going to add blue, blue. I like preordain. Maybe they don't have anything. No, we got a preordain here. Energy tap metamorphose. I don't really need metamorphose, but if this resolves, we're okay. The problem is it like we need to resolve um, rush of knowledge for this to work. The metamorphose is kind of a win more card. I'm bottoming it. All right, we do that. So let's just crack chromatic star for one black because I'm gonna need that black anyway. And hope to draw a dispel or something. Burnt offering. Okay, I think I just go for it now. And we just hope that they um, counter Rush of Knowledge here. Oh, it resolves. Okay. Opponent didn't have anything. Dive to Spell. Perfect. Uh, we can Burnt Offering. A bunch of black. Now we can... I need to fill my graveyard a little bit. We can Metamorphose for more blue. Energy Tap is good. Crack this for blue. Shambling Attendance. I think... Uh... I think that's it guys. We even have Dispel. Rush. Double blue elemental blast for good measure. Play the rituals. Um, I guess we're like a little bit low on blue mana. So let's fear or no, we want to um preordain first because it like looks at the top cards. Bottom bottom. Okay. Uh I mean we could just win by like dealing with their permanence too. So preordain has gone. I guess now we cast Serum Visions. I still have Dispel up. Bottom, bottom. Okay, let's Chromatic Sphere for blue. This is getting weird. Blue. Okay, Chromatic Sphere for blue. Energy tap. Okay, uh, careful study. There's Brain Spoil. Okay, discard you two. Yeah, brain spoil means we got it. Well, almost certainly means we got it. We are limited on blue mana. That is the biggest concern here. Grab a rush. Cast rush. If they had a counter spell, they would have done it. But even if they do, we have dispel. There's rolling thunder. So we just have lethal. Um, is there any way I can do it without tapping my blue? I think so. I have two burnt offering, which represent... 13 mana because I have to cast a creature and I have nine so we're, def we're definitely burnt offering here I think I can just kill them with holding up dispel or blue blast So right now I have 16 I go down to 15 I go up to 22. Yeah, that's exactly lethal too. That's the cool part um, I don't want to use this blue for energy tap. Oh, what if they have weather the storm? <laughs> I can't counter weather the storm. I didn't bring in the Blackleaf Goblin. Oh, this is interesting. I feel like just wiping their board has got to be good enough, right? If they have weather the storm and I go face, I just lose. But if I wipe their board, like my hand is great. So let's just do that. Four, one, two. Uh, how much mana do I have? Yeah, let's just do that. Four, 11. I have 15 mana. So this is going to take Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we do that. Yeah, I'm actually gonna play it safe here. That way, weather the storm isn't so bad. They can protect their um, atog, but then, you know, they don't have very much. And I have all these counter spells in hand. I have eleven turns to kill them. Sure, don't mind that. Now we play Gurmag into Gurmag. I have. Four, nine, so I could just play Shambling Attendance, but it doesn't hit as hard, but I do have two Death Touchers in that case. Yeah, let's do that. Then I just discard some lands. Sure. I don't know. That could have been too safe, but I just don't see how they win with my hand as it is now. Uh, I don't really need Energy Tap. Careful Study. Burnt Offering. Scary. Uh, Preordain. Okay, they did not have Weather the Storm, but we're still very safe, I think. So, end of turn. Can they fling kill us? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. They can. 
I would very much like to blue elemental blast Atog, but I guess I can just wait. Play Ancient Spring, attack with one Shambling Attendant. And then when I have double blue blast up, I'll feel pretty safe. Mm -hmm. I mean, they have to go for it. I don't know, I might have just lost myself the game by not going face, but whether the storm is something they could definitely have in their deck in their sideboard. Ooh, Relic is a little rough. Okay. They have three mana. So if they attack, they can't fling plus have like counterspell up. So now I think we're well, well safe here. Uh, yeah, let's attack again with Shambling Attendance. If I get this Blue Blast to work, but I'll have three mana up next turn to go for it. Ancient Spring, go. I could have totally messed up this game. I probably should have just killed the Atog right now. But if they like go for Flink, Galvanic Blast. Sure, that only does four. So if they have two Galvanic Blasts, then they just get wrecked here. So I dispel that one. Uh, they have one mana up. Medic Star, sure. So if their last card is Fling, I could just be giving them way too much time here. If they had a Counterspell, they would have protected the Shambling Attendant. They only have one card in hand? Okay, so I think I just win now. Because they only have one card in hand. So I just Blast, Blast. Um, if they Dispel, then I kill the Atog. Yeah, so we let that happen. Then we kill this. And then they lose. They have no cards in hand. They're top decking. I have all these creatures. It could have been too safe, but if they had um, Weather the Storm, it, would, it was kind of scary. Three. So I think I can um, cast Gurmag Angler here. One, two, three, four, five, six. No. Let's uh, cast a Sphere, I guess. Play Sulfur Vent. Next turn, I can play Gurmag Angler, but all my creatures are lethal in their top decking. So it might have looked weird to the onlookers. But we were trying to beat Weather the Storm if they had it. Because I figured with double blue blast we can beat Atog. And that's why I was waiting to be able to blue blast Atog when I had two up. I don't know. That, that's a very interesting game to like study if you're trying to learn how to play Fischl Brand. Because I don't know if I played it correctly. But uh, we're doing really well. Let's keep playing. Alright, we're playing against Hegith. We're going to go first. Pretty good. Uh, this hand's terrible. I mean, it's like close, but basic island in your opening hand is just not really where you want to be. This hand has a lot. We have Energy Tap, Rush of Knowledge, Shambling Attendant, so I think I do keep this. The question is, what do I get rid of? And I feel like it's Metamorphose. It's got to be Metamorphose, yeah. Because we're like, honestly, very close to going off turn two. Or I guess it would be turn three. I'm going to lead on the Severs and Scary. How does this work out here? So we go turn one Scary... Turn two, Ancient Spring. Turn three, we're going to have three cards in our graveyard. And one, two, three, four, five, six mana. So then Shambling Attendance, we can cast. It's going to be close. I'm going to wait and see what I draw. If I draw like a Serum Visions, or like, I think the ideal draw here would be like Preordained into Chromatic Sphere. Uh, against a green deck, I don't think we have to go off that quickly. But if they are tapped out and we have the opportunity, we might as well. Grimbag Angler was probably the worst possible draw, but that's okay. So, yeah, let's do the math now, because it's looking like this is our option. If they don't cast anything, then I'm not, like, I'll play around Vines of Vastwood, but Nest Invader plus a creature. Okay, so do I want to tap the Severs and Scary? If I draw... Let's go through the math again. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 mana, Shambling Attendance... I probably would have to use Gurmag Angler for this. If he costs 7, so he's going to cost 4. So I actually can't go off unless I draw a Dark Ritual. I'm going to wait one turn. If I draw a Dark Ritual right now, I'll feel kind of sad. But I think I can still go off in that situation. And if I draw like Serum Visions here, then I'll be pretty happy. Um, I'm going to want to tap the Scary anyway. So let's just Serum Visions using that blue. Because now I'm going off next turn almost for sure. Uh, Dark Ritual Chromatic Star. I mean, that gives me a lot of mana. Do I want the star? Not really. But I will take another Dark Ritual. Play the Sphere. Pass turn. And the next turn we just go. Especially if they tap out. Um, then I don't really care. But we have 8 mana next turn now. So we don't really need the energy tap. 
So now the question is, does our opponent have vines in the vast wood, number one, and number two, can we play around it? It feels like hopefully they use that mana on something. That's six life that they're gaining, so we got to do a lot of damage, but they're at 25, we're going for it this turn, and let's see what happens. Dark Ritual. I was going to say that's a good draw, but we knew we were drawing that. So let's Sacrifice, Sacrifice, Dark Ritual. Unless they have like main deck Fairy Macabre, which would be kind of sick. Dark Ritual. Uh, I think I cracked Chromatic Sphere for blue. Yeah, get rid of that white. Ancient Spring, a little bit late. So Shambling Attendance effectively pays for itself because we're going to get one extra mana off of the energy tap anyway. So I don't really care about using that extra colorless. Plus it draws us an extra card off this rush. So we're pretty set up. Um, we did bottom a Manamorphose, I think, with our Mulligan, which would be quite helpful right now. But we'll see what happens. Cast Rush. Wow, that was pretty close to a whiff, but it's not a complete whiff. Um, we could start out with Chromatic Star for blue. So let's crack this for blue. It's a lot of careful study. So this careful study has got to hit some good stuff. Island is okay. So we're going to discard Scary Sulfur Vent. Um, we have to careful study again. So cast that. So far this has been really, really unfortunate though. That being said, this turn we can just like play a bunch of creatures. They can only hit us for six in the air. If we draw like a Rolling Thunder the following turn, we can do it. Okay, that is actually fine. So now I'm just going to try and play as if we're going to go off this turn, because it seems quite likely, because we get to cast another Rush. So I'm just going to discard both of these lands, right? So I get to, I have five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I got to hit a Burnt Offering somewhere in that. So we're going to discard these two. Um, go Dark Ritual into Island Rush of Knowledge. So we gotta hit Burnt Offering, or like Chromatic Sphere here. There's Burnt Offering, but we're out of, we're actually out of blue. Um, destroy target creature that isn't enchanted. <laughs> Isn't that so tilting? Um, okay, so we're actually kind of screwed here a little bit. Because we have no way to get blue mana now. Um, I can use Burnt Offering to get like red. Like if we had that Mana Morphos that we had in our opening hand, we could win, but... I don't think there's a line for me to win, so I have to like draw a chromatic star next turn. That's my best shot. We're gonna play some blockers, right? There's no, yeah, I just have to draw like a chromatic sphere or something. Play you. That's unfortunate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're one away from uh, isn't enchanted. <laughs> if they didn't play the rancor, we could have gotten there. So we pass turn. Um, what am I discarding here? Probably a Shambling Attendance. Probably two Shambling Attendants. Um, brain Spoil seems quite bad. And I guess this Gurmag Angler? No, I'll discard the Scary, because I have a lot of blue. And I'm dying in like two turns in the air anyway. So I basically need to top deck Chromatic Star and then go Energy Tap into that. Okay, I'm, I'm okay with those odds. I probably should have just waited a turn. Um, there was that turn where I, I decided to play Island instead. Yeah, I just got to draw a Chromatic Star or Sphere. Serum Visions. Uh, is there anything I can draw off of that? I don't think so. I'm trying to think, there's no Lotus Petals in the deck. I can get a bunch of colorless mana, but that doesn't get me anywhere. I'm just dead in the air. That was close. I think I Serum Visions, like maybe they don't attack. We just got to hope for something. Basically, I need them for them to not attack, and then I can win. But th them not attacking is pretty unlikely. <laughs> so for those who are wondering, I could have, um, if I drew Chromatic Star or Sphere, I go Energy Tap on Shambling Attendance, get 8 colorless, play the Chromatic Sphere, and make blue, and then use that to cast a rush. Oh, it was right there. Well, we're keeping both of these. Playing that, go. Yeah, I don't know. That was a really hard turn to play. I think I was better off just not playing that island, because if I had um, two mana, I could have done it. All right, yeah, we die. Rough beats, rough beats. But we got games two and three, and Stompy is a good matchup. So I'm going to bring in Blackleaf Globin and Fist of Flame instead of Rolling Thunder. 
I kind of want to bring in Apostle's Blessing as a way to play around Vines of Vastwood, but I also don't want to dilute the deck too much. So we cut a Burnt Offering in this situation because we don't need that much mana. Question is, do I need this? Gives me pro green. It lets Blackleaf Goblin hit through first strike, which I don't think they have. I think we're okay. All right, let's go first. Nope. These hands have been really bad. Uh, this hand's okay, but it is not ideal. I'm going to keep this, but we bought him a Dark Ritual here. Because we already have Energy Tap, so like, not too worried. And I'm going to play Ancient Spring, because we probably will need to use Sappers and Scary more than once. Ranger is an okay start. Ancient Spring. So let's play Chromatic Sphere. Um, I think now I play the Scary. So we just have to draw a Rush of Knowledge, really. Three lands makes me feel pretty confident, too. Like, our mana situation is good. So they play the Bloodthirst guy, maybe? Sure. Preordain. No! Why? Okay. Uh, I guess I play Sulfur Vent for Diversity. I could also crack the Chromatic Sphere and try and hit a Cantrip. That's not the worst thing I've heard of, because I probably need to go off like next turn. You know what? Let's do that. Let's add blue. And I'm going to tap Stoppers and Scary, because I want that tapped anyway. Okay, Shambling Attendance was bad. Can I play a Shambling Attendance? Just like block everything? You know, I might be able to just play an Attendance. One, two, three, four, five, six. I would have to use a Dark Ritual and an Ancient Spring, though. It does block everything. You know what? I'm, I've never tried this before, but we're just going to run out an early creature, see what happens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, let's do it. And then I'm going to play Ancient Spring. That way, if I draw a cantrip, um, then I have some things going on that way. Go ahead. Yeah, so it's hard for them to get through the attendance, which I enjoy. And that buys me quite a bit of time. Because their removal is like Savage Swipe, which only has 4 power. So, like... It's not going to go over too well for them. I kind of want to block this Quirion Ranger, but... Oh, I see. If they block, then they could Savage Swipe. That's not the end of the world. I still have another Shambling Attendance. And they have to do Savage Swipe post-combat. Maybe I block here. If I block here, they only have one mana this turn, and then they can't Savage Swipe plus Regenerate. I actually like blocking this. Okay, now I regret it. Because <laughs> they had a second one. Okay, so they have a 5-4... Brain spoil. We could really play this game really weird. Um, play Silver Vent, pass turn. A Savage Swipe here really hurts us. I don't know, maybe I should have block blocked the Emissary? It seemed worth trying to kill the Quirion Ranger, but I guess max prevent damage probably makes the most sense. Well, if that's all they're doing, I don't mind. Chromatic Sphere. Oh, this is hard. I don't think I'm dead next turn. I guess I'm dead to Vines of the Vastwood. Right? Yeah, I'm dead to Vines of Asswood because I they swing out. I'm not going to block here, so I block here, and then that's 6 plus 4 is 10. So I'm just not going to play around Vines and just hope they have Weather the Storm up. And we can beat Weather the Storm. So we're going to Energy Tap the Shambling Attendance using Sulfur Vent, I think. No, we use the Scary. Energy Tap here, because if that doesn't go through, then we have to block. But this way, the Vines of the Vastwood doesn't kill us. And if they counter this, then we just, like, let it go and pass turn, I believe. Okay, so that happens. That happens. Now we're in trouble. Because, yeah, now I can't actually energy tap it at all. Or Burnt Offering it. So I probably just have to, like, trade it off and then next turn hit him with Shambling Attendance. <sighs> this is rough. This is a hard game. I'm going to pass turn. I'll take five. Man of Warfalls was a good draw. So I can either go for it, or I can block the River Boa, and then wait one more turn. Either way, I lose to Man of Warfalls, so I think going for it in this situation is probably better. There's not that much I can draw, I will admit, but... Oh, there's like very... I think I have to wait, actually. Because, like, what can I draw here? I guess I have to draw an Energy Tap. I guess if I draw Energy Tap off Chromatic Sphere, we'll get, we'll get there. We got this. Sacrifice. Uh, I only want to sacrifice one for now. So this is going to add blue. Yes. Preordain is a good start. Okay. Uh, none of these. Chromatic Star. Um, I don't think we're doing it. <laughs> I really don't think we're doing it. So we can 
I mean, we're, we're kind of committed here. So we Sulfur Vent, we Metamorphose. And I think at this point, I just have to draw Energy Tap into Rush of Knowledge. So I just add blue, uh, black. Careful study. Okay. There's our Metamorphose. We are just dead. That's unfortunate. All right, see you guys next round. All right, we're playing against Bobby, found dead. We're gonna keep this hand. Opponent says good luck, have fun. Playing against Delver. You hate to see it happen. All right, against Delver, we gotta just be as fast as possible. So we're gonna Saffir's and Scary. Like we need to be, Delver is the worst matchup we can possibly get, I think, because they have a quick clock, they have interaction. What we need to do is try and like go combo off a turn when it's like they think it's too early for us to do something given how aggressively they're putting delvers in play it feels like they don't have counter spells though which is kind of good let's careful study okay we are very close um discard we need one ancient spring so i can discard one and i guess i discard a sulfur vent or maybe i discard chromatic star because we have blue blue black 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 Energy tap gets us there, so we could just discard the star and that saves us mana. And then actually if we um draw a creature, we can go off next turn this way. But I guess I would rather have what would I rather have? Chromatic star or silver vent? Probably just chromatic star. Now I preordain. Sappers and scary and another energy tap. I don't think I want either of those. I put you on the bottom. <laughs> Alright, go. We just need to find a creature. So I don't know if I regret. Oh no. Flip off counterspell. That's probably game. It was a good shot. Chromatic Star. Yeah, they just counter like. Uh, if they try and counter Energy Tap. Good lord. Okay. That's bad. <laughs> Go. Um, yeah, if we draw a Delve creature, they let the Delve creature resolve and then try and counter Energy Tap, we have a shot. So that's our shot here. We sacrifice this. There's still a chance. We Dark Ritual. Okay, um, let's cast Gurmag Angler. If they counter this, we lose. But it's like pretty likely we could cast another creature. No, how do they know? <sighs> Fine. If we had another Delve creature there instead of an energy tap, we could have won. But Delver is, Delver is hard. Um, especially with that start. That was a good start for them. We bring in our Giga Drows. Cut a Brain Spoil. Careful study. Honestly, against Delver, we just like have to get lucky, so I don't even think we have time to transmute Brain Spoils. They're gonna bring in all their counter spells. I don't even think I can bring in Island. I kind of just want to cut Careful Study. Careful Study is really slow, and then we just gotta get a little bit lucky. All right, I'm on board. Let's go first. Two. Hmm. This hand is so bad. <laughs> okay, I'll keep this. I like this hand actually. We can get rid of probably honestly metamorphose from this hand as weird as that sounds because we don't have any red and i don't want to have to use my star to then make metamorphose work because i would rather just use chromatic star opponent mold a five i don't mind that so i'm going to play sabers and scary and that way i can double spell before they have spell stutter sprite up okay they got delver so let's go preordain Gurmag Angler, Giga Drows. Oh, that's right, I needed... Hmm. <laughs> put on top, put on top. That's why we don't Sappers and Scary early. I have some regrets. I will say that. But I can probably just Giga Drows like one land down and still get them soon, hopefully. I'm drawing Gurmag. Maybe I should not have topped. Because I could have just tried to go off this turn if I like hit um, Energy Tap. How did they ponder? Chose to shuffle, that's good. So I can get one, two, three, four. No, I can't go off this turn. All right. I, I think I screwed myself by tapping the scary because I, I forgot about Giga Drows. Yep. Sulfur Vent was a good draw. So, so now I have three lands. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. They have four lands though. Oof. Take four. Oh, they ninja'd. <gasps> oh, yes. I can't believe they ninja Okay, now we have a decision. I think my best shot is just Giga Draws down one land and hope they don't have any one mana counter spells. Like, what would they have? Dispel? 
This bone dark ritual would kind of kill us, but I don't think I can win by losing Sappers and Scary, so we're just gonna tap on one land. One? No, oh, zero. Just tapped on one land, hope they only have two mana counters. That's our best shot here. Okay. Well, let's go for it. Sack Ancient Spring, cast Dark Ritual to start. If they counter it, oh, they just, okay. We're going for it. Um, I think I want to crack Chromatic Star because I, what do they do, four, four, six, seven, eight? Maybe I don't. This costs six, I'll have two left over. You know what, we're going to keep the star around. Rush, three, four. So we have one of each up. We can go Burnt Offering, this guy. It's a little bit sketchy doing that, but that's our only source of mana. All right, we gotta see what we can do here. Um, crack Chromatic Star for blue. Draw and like energy tab maybe. Metamorphos, okay, I'll take that. Um, gotta fill our graveyard. I like careful study. Discarding these two. Careful study was bad. Um, I need to draw some type of mana generation engine here. Let's do this and add blue, blue. Giga Drows. Uh, okay, that's interesting. No, it's not. That'll be too slow. Let's preordain. Bottom, bottom. Ancient Spring. This has been some really rough draws. I need to find an energy tap. And Dark Ritual would have worked a few like cycles ago, but now it just has to be energy tap. Um, at this point, I don't think I'm adding red anymore. There we go. Shambling Attendance, energy tap. Energy tap. Rush. Dark Ritual. Uh, that was, again, another bad hit. So, I can Rolling Thunder their board, at least, if things get bad. So that's a good failsafe. I think right now I'm going to Chromatic Star for blue, because I have Burnt Offering and I had red. Okay, Dark Ritual is also good. How much mana do I have now? Uh, this is 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, uh, plus 7 is 16. I have 17 mana? Hmm. So I think I'm going to careful study here. As a fail save, I can wipe their board. Okay, never mind, we're good. Uh, that and that. Now I can go Dark Ritual, um, Rush of Knowledge, and then Burnt Offering. Seems fine. Burnt Offering here. Kind of want like a lot of red. All right, now we go Shambling Attendance. So now I have nine. It'll be 16, so I need to find like an energy tap or something. So let's metamorphose some of this away to blue. Grimag Angler. I mean, we're pretty close to just getting there. I'm going to metamorphose again. <laughs> That's a lot of Giga Drows. Um, Preordain. Don't want that. Dark Ritual gets us closer, so sure. Preordain. No. You know what? I kind of just want to wipe their board and put a ton of creatures into play. I don't know how many snaps they could have, but that is seeming tempting. So let's put you on top. Dark Ritual. So we pretty much no matter what have to Burnt Offering the Shambling Attendance, but let's Serum Visions. Oh, Energy Tap? Oh, that's just lethal, I think. Right? Yeah, that's plenty. Energy Tap, Burnt Offering. Um, Shambling Attendance. Chromatic Sphere to get the uh, mana, blue, yeah, Burnt Offering, again, do I, 13, 20, yeah, I have to do it one more time. See if we can catch him with the Giga Drows. Okay, there we go, now we know we're safe, 20 damage. Alright, we get to game 3 against Delver, which is good for us. Um, How do we do this? We have Giga Drows, which is very hard for them to deal with. They didn't seem to have too much in the way of um, interaction. So I think I just keep it and hope to hit them with the Giga Drows if they hold up like two mana again. Can I keep this hand? Did they keep their hand? They mulliganed. This hand is like pretty slow and has a very high likelihood of killing us, but it has all the pieces. So if I just draw another land, we can kill them like turn three. I don't think I can mulligan this because normally I'm like... When I cast Serum Visions or Careful Study, I'm like trying to build this exact hand. Th this is the perfect hand. Minus like, if, if a Chromatic Sphere was a land, this would be like the perfect hand. Or a Preordain. Actually, Preordain might be better. But they mulligan to five. 
So they pretty much just mulligan for turn one Delver. Uh, I don't like... Please don't natural flip. Please don't natural flip. I don't know if we can beat... Oh, and it's on a force spike? That was the worst possible thing that could have happened. I mean, they can force spike a chromatic sphere, I guess. Yeah. Oh, God, that was so bad for us. And we didn't hit a land, and now they might have counterspell. Yeah. This is why they mulligan aggress- Oh, they have the ninja? Okay, this is rough. Land, nope. Come on, deck, why you do this? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we had a pretty good shot at winning if we had hit a land like turn two, and they hadn't flipped Delver naturally into four spike. Uh, we have Giga Drows. Maybe there's still hope. Let's play Chromatic Sphere. We could theoretically go off with one land, especially if they don't counter that. So they don't have Spell Stutter. Please don't natural flip. Come on! <laughs> Alright, look, I can't beat double natural flip and sectile aberration. I need a land this turn. Alright, uh, we're gonna take five. We discard a Gurmag Angler. This was so close to being actually a good hand for us, but we drew terribly and they drew as well as they possibly could have. So, pretty hard to uh, come back from that. Yep, they draw. Okay, we need them to like tap out again for our spells, which would be ridiculous, but it's possible. All right, how did they ponder? Chose to not shuffle. Um, so we can Giga Drills and Sectile Aberration to theoretically get another turn if they don't counter it, which I kind of like, because I'm dead. Yeah, I mean, any counter spell kills me. There's like so many things, but we were very, very close to winning this game. Let it be known. Spell Stutter kills us, Counter Spell kills us, Force Spike kills us, Spell Pierce kills us, yeah. Oh, this hand was so close too. If we had hit a land like any time sooner. Oh man, rough beats. But we still had a winning record with the League. Uh, going back to details. Yeah, that, that was a really unfortunate game. But that'll happen, you know, you'll hit your worst matchup and they'll draw perfect. Um, so let's go back to the deck. I think the deck is pretty close to tuned. I mean, I never really had any problems with it when I was playing. Uh, the biggest thing to figure out is really t t like hone down our sideboard plan. Like, when do we bring in Giga Drills versus Dispel? Things like that. Uh, maybe we want some Gut Shots versus Delver in particular. Because like, if they go turn one Delver, we Gut Shot the Delver. That buys us a lot of time, especially if they're mulliganing so aggressively. So something to consider. I, I still love this deck. I think it's totally viable in this meta. Um, we were like a, a blink away from a 4 -0. So, yeah, uh, keep playing this deck. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to be playing it intermittently. I like doing other things too, but this deck is always fun for me to come back to. See you guys next time.